guys. Welcome back to Real Time JC, Real Time Jesus with me, Stephanie. Today is episode 16, and the title of today's message is Don't Move the Mountains, Seeing the Beauty in What I Can't Comprehend. I'm excited to dig in with you today. If it's your first time joining me on Real Time JC, I'm glad that you press play. My hope is that you feel encouraged. This is a tough world. It's a tough journey we're all on, but we can do it together with Jesus. And in real time, these are things that he is downloading into my spirit, the things that I'm learning and growing in, the ways that he's developing me in my quiet times. And on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I film these episodes and share it with you. Um, Also, this marks the beginning of our sixth week together. Real Time JC is only a full five weeks old and beginning our sixth week. It's also this week is the end of our Real Time JC in the Autumn series. And starting next Monday, we begin our Christmas series. Ah, I love Christmas. I love Christmas. Okay, to be authentic, this is real time. Uh, started listening to Christmas music, watched Christmas movies late September, early October. Okay, I know some of you are like, uh, I never stopped. <laughs> and then some of you are like, please wait until after Thanksgiving because why? <laughs> So I'm kind of somewhere in between, I would guess, but um, there's no right or wrong. There's no, no right or wrong to this. None at all. And also, uh, like, to be completely authentic, I took about 15 takes before this one because my dogs, every time I would, I would start the film, they would start growling or they would start playing. So I would stop and I'd restart and then one of them would start running around the room and, or, and so then I would stop and then restart. And then the last one, my daughter walks in in her towel after a shower. I'm like, okay, I get up. But to be, you know, it's, this is real time. To just to be authentic. Sometimes these things may happen in these episodes, but I try not to make those happen. But oh, this world is not a perfect world. All right. So, so let's dig in. Uh, have you ever had a dream? <laughs> that sounds 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 silly. Yes, of course you've had a dream. But have you ever had a dream where you woke up and you knew God was speaking to you through that dream? I'm talking about like, you know, like a dream Joseph had. <laughs> No, okay, so maybe not to that extreme where you're going to save the world from a famine, but maybe, I'm not saying that God can't do that through your dream because he absolutely can. He's the same God yesterday, today, now, and forevermore. I'm talking about the kind of dream that you wake up, you absolutely know that God was processing something with you through the dream, that you learned something from that dream, and it was not meant to be kept to yourself. For a time, maybe, as you were continuing to process it, it maybe was, but then at some certain point, you knew this is not just for me and my growth and development. This is something that I'm supposed to share with others. Well, I had one of those dreams. It's not very often that I wake up and remember a dream and write it down. Um, I'm going to try to start doing that more often because I know that like our dreams are there to help us process, whether it's through our subconscious or it literally is God developing something in us, it's good to remember and just to think about like, what is he teaching me sometimes through my dreams? Okay. So sometimes dreams are a little crazy. They're a little cray cray. Um, but I'm going to read you what I posted last night on Facebook and Instagram, because this is a dream that was not just meant for me. Many of you may know, many of you may not know that I've walked through a divorce um, within the last couple of years. It was a very difficult time. It was something that never would I have expected to happen or or wish to happen um, by any means. And and it was it was a tough road. There are lots of hills and valleys. Um, even beyond that, if I were to look back through my last many years, I'm 47. Lots and lots of hills and valleys that I've I've walked through. But I'm not alone. I'm not alone in that. I mean, we all walk through many, many, many times of 
of shadowy of shadowy times, like the darkness, the feelings of like I'm not enough, or am I ever going to move beyond the season, or the the stressful moments, the anxious moments, the painful times, um, and what whatever that looks like in your life. I mean, we we all walk through our own unique hills and valleys. Well. Uh, I've been going through a lot of time of of restoration and healing this year in 2023. Thank you, Lord, for that. Mm, Thank you, God, for that. But this is the this is the specific dream He gave me during this time. I'm going to read it to you. I had been on a trek up the mountain for some time. I kept my eyes focused on the path before me, but it still seemed so far to the top. A journey so far, it felt like I'd barely even walked an inch. With every breath, I took one more heavy step after another, after another, until I finally could go no more. I stumbled and I fell. I cried out, Lord, I I can't go any further. It feels like I'm not making any progress. The end is still so far away. He gently took my hand. He lifted me up and he turned me around. To my surprise, my eyes set forth upon the most brilliant pinks, oranges and reds in the skies, dancing on thousands of hills. Deep shadows added their dark depths in the valleys below, creating the most astonishing spectrum of beauty I had ever laid my eyes upon. It took my breath away. Those hills and valleys that I had trekked through before, the ones that had brought such pain, heartache, difficulties, and struggles, created an unbelievably beautiful masterpiece. With each new step, more was added to this masterpiece. This journey, my journey, created a piece of artwork unlike anyone else's. It was only when he changed my perspective that I realized how beautiful it really was. We each have a journey that we are on. We each have a thousand hills, a thousand valleys. We each do. We walk through a lot. We each are also a brilliant masterpiece from God's loving perspective. There is beauty in what we can't comprehend. Always beauty. And that was from my post last night. And during the time that that I was processing this dream, I realized, I literally realized that with each boulder I I climbed, with each stream I crossed, with, with each cold, dark night that I endured through the valley, he was there. And I was just trekking further and further, closer into his presence and creating beauty behind me in the process. That's exactly what you are doing too. If you know Jesus, if you're walking with Jesus, if you're, if you're being obedient and you're and with love and you are walking into his light and he is, he is right there, right beside you, but you are creating a masterpiece. You are not meant to hold shame, to hold guilt, to hold all of those those feelings and emotions that oftentimes we carry because we think our past, our past is like something that nobody, nobody should ever know about. Guys, that is not, that is not God's intention. With each step that you take, more, more beauty is created. More people will relate with you, will connect with you because of all that you walk through, because of the story that you have, because of those other chapters. Yes. Is he creating a new story? Is he creating a new chapter in your story? Are you on, are you on a new journey? Yes, yes, yes. You may be in all of those things, but realistically you are one person uniquely and beautifully and wonderfully created one person. There is never Never, never has there been, never is there, and never will there be anyone else created like you. Which means that the journey that you started on when you were born up until where you are right now is one journey with a whole bunch of different hikes on it that is moving towards 
the light of your creator. And all through your hikes and, and that journey, you're creating something so beautiful that needs to be shared, that absolutely needs to be shared with others around you. As I was having my time with Jesus this morning, he led me to, I think, what is the most perfect verse for for this dream and for what this message is to you today. And it literally, and, and I do a couple of different things. I do um, like a commentary. I read from the word, um, the scripture, and then I have a devotional. And literally for November 20th, I'm not making these things up, guys. This is real time. <laughs> it it points to this passage in Psalm 16, 9 through 11. And this is the TPT version. I'm going to read you the NIV too in a moment. But it says, My heart and soul explode with joy, full of glory. Even my body will rest confident and secure, for you will not abandon me to the realm of death, nor will you allow your Holy One to experience corruption. For you bring me into a continual revelation of resurrection life, the path to the bliss that brings me face to face with you. And here's what it is in the NIV version. Therefore, my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices. My body also will rest secure because you will not abandon me to the grave, nor will you let your Holy One see decay. You have made known to me the path of life with eternal pleasures at your right hand. You will fill me with joy in your presence. Guys, like you can't, you can't make this stuff up. God is real. He is alive and he cares about you. He cares about me. He cares about the journey that you're on. Romans 8, 28. Let me remind you of what that says. Romans 8, 28. Oh my goodness. And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. For those God foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the likeness of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. And those he predestined, he also called. Those he called, he also justified. Those he justified, he also glorified. Whew. And close the book. Yeah. That story, that chapter, those chapters that you walked on, those are meant to be shared with others. They are meant to be used to glorify God for the saving of many lives. So be encouraged today, that journey that you're on, turn around and see from God's perspective, the beauty that has been created. And I hope that you feel inspired today to do that, to share, to share with those around you. So excited for our next episode. Do not forget to subscribe, 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 and share with your friends. And I will see you next time on Real Time JC. Bye guys.